In this video, we will be discussing thickening services to solids. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1203 thickening surfaces to solids.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Creating solid models by thickening surfaces can be one step in the process of leveraging your 2D data, or it can be a technique for creating complex solid models. A surface model by definition means the object has no thickness. It is defined by two dimensions traversing through space, but it does not have a third dimension defining thickness. Therefore, a surface model does not define a solid volume. One way to make it a solid model is to give that surface a specific thickness value. When you give a surface a thickness, you specify a distance for that surface to be thickened. This distance establishes the parallel offset of the surface. A solid model is then created composed of the volume of area between the surface and the parallel offset. Though a surface does not have a thickness, the surface does have a positive and negative side. So when thickening a surface, a positive thickness value creates a solid model on the positive side of the surface, while a negative thickness value creates a solid on the negative side of the model. Sometimes you'll have to play around with these values to make sure you get the desired results. So we have this surface here that let's say we created through splines and meshing and so on. And if you wanted to actually thicken this to, let's say, to give some sort of material value, we can use a thicken command. The thicken command is located in the home tab, solid editing panel, and we have the thicken command. I'll go ahead and zoom in and we'll select our surface, press enter, and let's go ahead and give it a value of one foot. So press one foot, press enter. Notice how it went down. So again, depending on how the object was created, the value of negative and positive will be based on that. Let's go ahead and look at our walls that we had done in the previous video. And I'll go ahead and switch to top view just so we can see that we have a little bit of a problem here in that we have no thickness to this surface. However, we know we have a distance of 5.5 inches that we need to account for. So let's go ahead and thicken our walls. And I'll go ahead and select the thicken command. I'll select the walls here, press enter, and then we'll give this one a value of negative 5.5 because we've established that the negative direction is the desired result. As we rotate the view, you'll notice that that is exactly what we're going to get. So let's go ahead and run the thicken command and apply that 5.5 value to the rest of our walls. So we get the desired results for rendering and whatever volume calculations we may want to do with these walls. Press enter, type in 5.5, enter, and there are walls thickened to solids. As you can see, the thicken command can be very powerful in that it allows you to create very complex solid models from surfaces, no matter what the complexity is of those surfaces. This concludes this video discussing thickening surfaces to solids.